Hey guys, Aaron from ADH Gaming here, hope you're having a great day. I'm back checking out another Super Mario Maker mod, and today's mod is the Super Mario World Bootleg mod, which is based on the bootleg version of the game which came out on the NES. You may have heard it called the Pirate or Chinese version of Super Mario World, and it is pretty impressive that it even ran on the aging NES. Now this mod aims to replicate this bootleg and whilst it is still a work in progress, I still found there's a lot to cover. As usual, if you want to check this great mod out for yourself, take a look down below in the video description. I put a download link as well as full credits. Let's take a look. Now if you've ever played Super Mario World, and if you haven't, really should give it a go, it's a great game, then hopefully it won't take too long for you to figure out what level I'm going to try and recreate here. Maybe leave me some comments down below if you already know actually. So I'm going to try and recreate this early Super Mario World stage, and I'm going to give it a bit of a remix, especially the underground section when I get to it. So just putting down some Koopas over there and a Yoshi egg as well. Definitely going to come in handy. So instead of the Yoshi coins for this one, I'm actually going to be using the pink coins. And later on in the level, that's going to get me through a locked door. So let's put down a green Koopa there. Another Yoshi coin or pink coin. Let's build some steps up to the top here. Now, as I said earlier, this is a work in progress. So not all of the enemies have been changed. For example, in the original Super Mario World game, you're going to find Charging Chuck up top there. So I'm going to have to replace that with another enemy, but I'll go back to that in a minute. Put down a checkpoint. Let's continue with a couple of pipes here. And again, I'll come back and put Piranha Plant in some of those two. So let's move onwards again. So we've got some of the semi-solid platforms, which I'm going to use here. They don't exactly look like the original Super Nintendo game, but they do the job okay. Put down another semi-solid platform over here as well. Now, all of the semi-solid platforms haven't really had a change, so I'm just going to kind of stick with this one for this theme anyway. So let's put a couple of blocks with a vine. That's going to take us up into the clouds. Put down some of those cloud blocks. There's going to be another coin up here as well. It's looking good. So we've got another coin down here actually, pretty close by. Just surround that with a couple of coins. It's pretty crazy to think actually how close the Yoshi coins are to each other in the original game. So uh, it was just something I noticed while creating this stage anyway. So let's put down a few more pipes. And we are coming up to the end of the stage here. So if you played this stage in Super Mario World, you'll know that you'll get to this section where there's a P-switch hidden in a block. And then hitting that, uh, it'll make it drop and you'll be able to kind of climb up a staircase here. Uh, but I am very close to the goalpost here, so I might try and move things back a bit. I can't believe I've already run out of space. That's not good. Now, in the original game as well, you do get a charging chuck just before the goalpost. I can't use one of those, so I'm going to put down one of the large Goombas here. Not quite the same, but I've got to work with it. Right, I think it's time to go into the pipe and start working on that section now. Let's put the pipe over on the left-hand side. I quite like the background actually, it kind of looks very surreal. Using the lower colour palette of the NES, it still gives off uh, quite a good look I think. So let's build up some of the ground around the pipe here. Now if you play the original level in Super Mario World, then you should know this is really only a one screen area. But I'm going to try and make it a little longer than that, it's not going to look quite the same. So I call this a bit of a remix here. So. Uh, that's not going to quite work, so I might just replace those with red Coopers, actually. Make them fly around the area. And like always, I'm probably going to come back and sort of make a few changes along the way. So let's put our pipe up there. And we've got some of the semi-solid platforms as well, so I'm going to try and use all three of those here. They might not completely fit in, but uh, I think they're going to stand out somewhat. Let's just copy that and put them over the other side too. Excellent. So all three of the mushroom platforms have been changed, or given a slight edit anyway, so just going to put all three down now. And it isn't often that I get to create a course using the Super Mario World theme, so I'm going to try and make advantage of the spin attack here. So just putting down some of the spikes. Let's put down a spiny in there to jump off, so uh, fill in the ground. And this is going to be a, quite a tricky area just to get through. You're going to use that spin attack. Jumping across, that worked. Let's just finish it off. Put down a few more of the blocks there too. 
it won't be anything too difficult. If you used to spin jumping, I'm sure there won't be a problem there. Let's pop those down into those gaps. Put a roof on top. And this kind of concludes this section here, but I want to put a pink coin down there. Let's put a pipe down too. So, yeah, that's looking good. Let's go back up top. So, I want to put down my door here. And that's going to take us off to a top section. And again, like normal, I usually just put a room with some extra lives in. In this case, I'm going to put five of them. But there's going to be a pipe here that spawns a power block. You're going to have to pick that power block up to get back out the door there. And so far, so good. I think it replicates the level I'm trying to remake here. Let's just go back, add a few extra coins in. Now, the original level doesn't have as many enemies and coins as what I'm doing here. Like putting a Hammer Brothers up top there. Uh, but I just wanted to give it a bit more challenge because it was quite an easy level to get through here. It's looking good. Let's go into the underground, put a few extra coins around as well. Like so. Maybe a power up up top as well. Excellent. And a few coins around the spiny jumps as well. Just kind of point you in the right direction of where you're supposed to be spin jumping. Now, I definitely feel like I'm going to have to go back and make a few changes. I've just realised that Yoshi is going to easily be able to get across this area. That would make it way too easy for my liking. So I'm going to go make a few changes and then give it a go. Let's do this. So I want to grab myself a shell. Bag myself an extra life and a power up. Nice. Now it's worth noting as well, I'm sure you can hear, the music has been changed as well as the sound effects. And yeah, they do sound a bit strange, a bit tinny, but they kind of fit in with the charm of this mod. So uh, really nice work there. So uh, let's carefully get to the top here. And again, it would have been nice to have charging chucks in this, so we're just going to have to make do with the big Goombas here. Yep, another Yoshi. We don't get an extra life, but uh, I want to grab that vine, head up it, and grab another one of the pink coins. Nice. Get back on top of Yoshi. So let's collect our fourth pink coin here. So I believe that's the pipe we need to go down, but let's just move on a bit. So that's the end of the stage. Let's go down into the underground section. This is where I made a few changes here. So you can collect a Yoshi just in case you get to this section without him. But you're going to need to make a jump and drop Yoshi into the abyss. Uh, <laughs> it'll be fine, trust me. Uh, so let's just jump across the platforms here. And we've got a mushroom up here, so I might as well grab that. So let's use our spin jump. Carefully does it. Last one. Excellent. So we've got our key. So I might as well go through that locked door. Collect myself some extra lives. Let's take the power block over here. Get back through the door. So let's hit the P-switch. That should create a little pathway up. And just jump straight onto the goal. Nice. And there we go. If you're still wondering what level this was based on, it was Yoshi Island 2. If you guessed correctly, well done. I look forward to creating some more levels with this mod, especially when it comes out work in progress as well. And again, don't forget to check down in the video description if you want to give this great mod a go for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be amazing if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thanks for watching.